This lump of rock is wilvite. It is considered more valuable than gold and is a key ingredient in high-end perfumes. Imagine for a second, after a few months or even years of eating your favorite meal, which just so happens to be whole squid, this includes the beak and pen, usually these items are regurgitated, but on rare occasions it manages to make its way to your intestines, binding together over time and forming a substance called ambergris. This is a process that occurs in sperm whales. It is thought that ambergris protects the whale's internal organs from the sharp squid beaks. How it is expelled from the whale is somewhat of a mystery to science. Most scientists believe it is regurgitated, giving ambergris the more common nickname of whale vomit. Others believe that ambergris is moved through the whale's intestines where it is passed along with fecal matter or forming an obstruction in the rectum. Scientists, again, cannot agree on what happens next. With some scientists believing the mass is passed, while others believe the mass grows so large it causes a fatal rupture. One of the easiest ways to identify ambergris is its odor. When ambergris is expelled, it has been described as having a strong fecal smell which becomes more pleasant as ambergris ages and dries out. This lump of biological gold spends years floating in the ocean before it is found. The longer it is exposed to the sea, the better quality it is thought to be. Ambergris has been used for centuries by many different cultures and civilizations. Forms of whale vomit was used in incense, aphrodisiacs, and medicines. The most common known use for will vomit is in perfume. Ambrine, an odorless alcohol, is extracted from ambergris and used to make a perfume's scent last longer. Ambergris changes color with oxidization as well as combining and absorbing various elements of sunlight, sand, air, sea salt, ocean minerals, and water while the lump floats through the ocean for long periods of time. Fresh ambergris is black with a strong scent as it ages, it dries and becomes grey-brown and then white. This is also how ambergris is categorized, with white ambergris being the most valuable as this is the form which contains the most ambergris. Ambergris is incredibly rare. It is not always found and even when it is, it is impossible to tell where the lump is going to turn up in the vast ocean. The next logical solution to obtain ambergris would then be to hunt these giant marine mammals, which of course humans have been doing for hundreds, maybe even thousands of years. The booming whaling industry of the past centuries has seen humans capture and kill a variety of whale species, including the sperm whale, whose fats were sought after for oil to power oil lamps and create soap, as well as the aforementioned ambergris, driving these animals to near extinction in many cases. Today, there are varying laws in place protecting whales, porpoises, and dolphins. Areas like Europe have all these species protected. However, the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species considers ambergris a waste product of sperm whales that occurs naturally, making it legal to collect it. This creates a gray area that is being taken advantage of in some cases. However, thankfully, there are only three countries that still practice commercial whaling. Yet even in those countries, it is not a big business. Today, most perfumes use a synthetic ambroxan, which is a synthetic recreation of ambergris. Seeing as there is a worldwide protection on these majestic giants, only the most expensive and prestigious perfumes contain whale vomit in them, making ambergris almost more valuable than gold. Hit that like button if you learned something interesting today. Subscribe if you are new. Leave a comment about what surprised you the most, and I will see you in the next one.